In this video, I'll show you how to fire items to a kitchen printer from your register. At this point, you have already configured your printer, established that kitchen printer in the back office, and designated which department items can be fired to the kitchen printer. In order to fire items, we must use the register's tables feature. Begin by selecting the tables icon. For this example, we're going to use Table 2, since I know it can seat two guests. These guests happen to wish to order everything at once, so we're going to take care of their beverages, appetizers, entrees, and cooking styles, along with dessert. But they don't want them all brought out at the same time. To get these items orders to the kitchen and or bar at the appropriate time, only fire them as needed by the table's guest. Since they only wanted to start with drinks and an appetizer, I will fire those two items by selecting them, then selecting the fire icon. Simply selecting the fire icon does not initiate an item to be fired. Items are fired to a kitchen printer only when the table's order is saved. After the items have been fired to the bar, the person at that station receives the order and begins to prepare the drinks, as does the kitchen for the appetizer. Once the appetizer is brought to the table, we can fire the entrees to the kitchen to be cooked by selecting the fire icon and saving the ticket again. Depending on the restaurant's needs and or the guest, the best time to fire may be all at once or in between courses. Items may be added to a table's order whenever a restaurant or guest prefers to. And that's how it's done. You are now ready to fire items from your Groove Register to a kitchen device.